Yo, what's up? It's Yo Remy, and I'm back. So in this video, um, I want to go over some different uh, actual examples of ShareTribe marketplaces. So if you're not familiar, I do quite a few videos on ShareTribe, which is a kind of marketplace builder platform. So they have two different versions. Uh, this is actually their new homepage. They uh, just relaunched right here. Um, but they have two different products. So they have one that's basically a... Um, it's called share tribe go so it's you can take your idea for a marketplace and literally get it to a live marketplace initial kind of product without any code using share tribe go which is their hosted marketplace um in about 30 minutes or so so i've done quite a few videos about that and then their other product is actually called share tribe flex so this is kind of like a back-end api service um so you can then do a lot of customizations uh for your marketplace if you already have it a live marketplace and you're simply looking to kind of customize it and scale it so um, anyways I wanted to do this video though to show you some examples because as you can see here on their site um, they have some customer stories right here there's only four so there's not really um, a lot of examples that are out there and of course there's a lot of people that are looking to build marketplaces whether it's an Airbnb style, kind of Etsy style, um, or even like a Fiverr kind of style. Uh, so spaces, services, or products. Um, so I'm going to do this video. I'm going to just walk you through a few different examples of some, uh, probably some of the different more notable share tribe marketplaces and uh, different types. And I'm also just going to mention um, what it was built on. So I will let you know whether it's built on share tribe go or Share Tribe Flex, and then uh, a few just kind of comments about them. So let's, let's get into it. Um, so first off, I actually built a Share Tribe Marketplace directory. So you can uh, see the URL right here at stinkbox.io and then slash Share Tribe Examples. But I built this um, actually using no code, uh, using card and then Airtable to build this kind of this directory. But uh, I built this so that way people could add theirs to it so users can submit their marketplace and then others could then see it and they could see all these dis different examples and you can see the name, the URL, tagline, um, actually notes also which platform is used, custom development, and then by who. So if you go to the top, of course, um, most of these marketplaces are built by myself or kind of my team at Thinkbox because um, we do specialize in share tribe marketplaces. So probably the more notable um, is Studio Time. So Studio Time is like the Airbnb of music studios. And uh, this is the first that I'm going to actually show you as an example. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's the Airbnb music studios. I built and launched it, and it's the largest online marketplace of music studios in the world today. So there's listings in 35 countries. Um, the initial version was built using ShareTribe Go, so without code and just some customizations. But... The actual live um, marketplace uh, that you're looking at right now on the screen share. So this is using ShareTribe Flex and extensive customizations. So here's kind of like the home page. Um, it's fairly straightforward. And then you can click on get started here. Um, so I'm not going to do like an extensive uh, product walkthrough on this because I'll probably reserve that for its own video because a lot of people have commented about that. Um, but you can see right here it's a uh, Fairly straightforward. It literally looks like an Airbnb exactly for music studios, of course. So you have like a little kind of toggle for different views. Um, and this is just in LA, so we have quite a few studios you can see. But uh, but that's fairly straightforward. So that's Studio Time. So that's probably the, one of the more notable um, marketplaces. And I believe it is actually the largest that uses uh, ShareTribe uh, right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I'm, I, I think so. So this is ShareTribe Flex once again. So that was kind of the top example that we share up here. So that's obviously like an Airbnb for music studios. So like a space is kind of Airbnb style marketplace. Now another uh, great example of a ShareTribe marketplace, which is built using ShareTribe Go, is actually this marketplace called Wheel Price. So you can see it right here. So here's their homepage. So yeah, it's fairly straightforward. You can see their tagline. So it's a marketplace for enthusiasts to buy, trade, and sell wheels. So and then you can see down here, it looks like they have some different kind of like categories right here that they show. So like different bolt patterns um, and then kind of like what is it or like a how it works kind of section. So this is built using ShareTribe Go. Um, I actually can see right from this, their homepage is the ShareTribe custom homepage option. So I can 
tell from that just after working with a lot of the marketplaces kind of know that um, it's a similar kind of, they all have similar look and feel as far as the layout and whatnot. So clicking through, um, we can see on the all, all their listings. So yeah, so it's fairly straightforward right here. So it looks pretty good. So you can see all their listings for the wheels right here. And then if you kind of want to see them all and see how many listings they have total, an easy way to do that for any share tribe marketplace like this is actually just click on the map and then you can go zoom out and the clusters will show you how many total listings they have. So we can see that. So right there, um, you know, right under about 500 listings. So it looks like, you know, they have some, some, uh, some actual people using it, a little bit of traction on here. So it looks good. Um, so here's another one. So this is, yeah, wheel price. So that was share tribe go. Now I'm going to jump into another one. Um, that is also uses share tribe go. Uh, but, uh, I, where I believe it's Share Tribe Go. It might be the open source version, um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But um, both are kind of similar as far as like the look and feel. But it's called uh, Venti. So this is a marketplace for uh, booking classic cars. Um, they were actually just acquired by someone, but uh, here's their marketplace. So their homepage um, right here, and then all their different kind of landing pages. Uh, that's not the core marketplace. So for instance, if you click on this, and an easy way to see this is the actual kind of the URL. So you can see it like drivent.com slash photo shoot. Um, this is kind of like a design landing page. So uh, easy way to see how this is built. So I actually clicked on like on the, uh, uh, if you just control, click on the homepage, you can view the source uh, source code. Um, or inspect and you can see that all these different landing pages are actually built on uh, Squarespace So their kind of uh, marketplace landing pages are built on Squarespace and then if you click on the search You'll see that opens in a new window and so that domain changes So it's cars.drivent.com. So that kind of tells me that um, Of course all the core kind of marketplace functionality within here and whatnot um, they actually use, uh, so they, it, I'm assuming their tech stack basically is Squarespace and then from this share tribe, uh, go. So that way they just use URL routing. So that way it's a seamless user experience. Um, but of course it leverages kind of like both platforms with no code. So that's another, uh, share tribe go marketplace example. And as, as you can tell, this one, um, definitely has a lot more, uh, look, uh, appears to be a lot more listings, a lot more traction, um, and a lot bigger scale. So they don't just use the share tribe go with like a, the basic kind of share tribe homepage offering. They actually kind of decided to build all, build and customize all of this themselves, um, which looks like they did a great job doing this. So that's another example. Um, so we'll just click out of that and just kind of keep going through them. So here's another, uh, well, we'll actually share this one. All right. So this one, um, is actually a uh, kind of marketplace, like an Airbnb for surfboard. So it's called the Quiver. So you can see their homepage looks great. Um, kind of similar to like the studio time. So I actually helped uh, work with this team uh, building this so I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, so these are all uh, custom homepages uh, built. And then as you can see, it kind of uses similar um, kind of uh, tech stack or kind of how quote unquote integration of uh, no code kind of custom landing pages and then obviously like the share tribe go uh, which is like the core marketplace functionality so you can also tell from here the URL is uh, different so it's app.thequiver.com versus once again when you click on their home page um, this is a custom kind of hosted uh, homepage it's the quiver.com which is like their top level domain so this is like an airbnb for surfboards um this one uh, i did work with a team uh, they had a great successful relaunch and so got picked up by forbes and i believe they're in about 20 countries as far as their listings so they're doing uh they're doing very well um this is another uh, probably one of the larger marketplaces built on share tribe go so leveraging their uh no code um hosted platform uh, that's out there and live that I've that I found uh, and then we'll keep going through so here's another one so this one's called ShareGrid. so this is a uh, trusted camera sharing community um, I'm not exactly sure I see on the uh, exactly as far as if it's built using share tribe go or open source um, I should have researched that prior to doing this video but uh, 
you can see right here, this is obviously like a great kind of slick looking marketplace. And then we'll just kind of click through and see this over here. So as you can tell, once again, um, they're using uh, different, uh, I'm assuming hosting these pages differently. So you can see the URL change to welcome.sharegrid.com. Um, but this is quite a large marketplace. It looks pretty slick. Um, that's built using ShareTribe. And then, so that's another example. Um, and then we'll keep going through. So here's another marketplace um, that appears to be a, a Canon uh, marketplace for uh, Australia uh, as far as camera sharing. So this is built using ShareTribe Flex, um, which looks to be customized quite extensively. Um, and we'll just kind of click through and see this. So here's kind of, I guess, their breakdown as far as like how it works and whatnot. And then we'll just click on browse gear so we can see how this kind of, you know, their UI UX is on this as far as their actual marketplace. So you can see right here. So it's a little bit slow to load, but all right, cool. So there we go. So here's a few different listings right here. So you can see like obviously like different lenses and different cameras and whatnot. So this one is a little bit more customized um, using ShareTribe Flex. So you can see like the, even their pins over here and stuff um, go up here. Even this top kind of like search and all the listings right here is kind of down below typically what the kind of like front end web template um, actually is for the ShareTribe Flex. So they've done quite a bit of customization on this. Um, you can see even that kind of like transition uh, on that page load a little bit different. Same thing over here. So this left side kind of column says so typically not there and with the scroll and then the book on the left right there. Um, even, yeah, and all this information. So this is all definitely a customization that they've done specifically for their marketplace, um, which is built using ShareTribe Flux. So this one looks pretty good. Um, I'm actually not sure how much traction they have uh, or at what sense of scale. Um, of course, it is very specific for the Australian kind of market. Um, but I also know it's kind of a newer marketplace. So this is another great example. So here's another one. So I actually built this um, basically just because uh, I wanted to build another marketplace using ShareTribe Go um, and do something different. So I wanted to build a product marketplace, so like a Grailed or like a Goat app um, or kind of like similar to like an Etsy style marketplace. So this one right here is actually uh, called uh, Uni. So it's shopuni.io. And this one's very straightforward. So this is a ShareTribe Go marketplace. Um, there's not that much customization on this. As you can see, it's just basically the URL is just like a main listings feed when you get there. If you're not logged in, um, if you log out, it's a, uh, it's a kind of a, a main kind of header. And to view any of the listings, you have to log in. Um, so the intent with that was that if people go to the URL, um, or they see a listing shared somewhere, then that way it would prompt a user registration. Um, and it kind of be like a little bit closed off marketplace uh, because for this, um, just more users and more uh, listings isn't really something that I was going for. This is more of a kind of curated, uh, highly vetted marketplace um, since the kind of buyer seller kind of communities of a lot of these different items um, are very, uh, very kind of closed off communities, I would say. So uh, one thing I will kind of point out on this, I'll probably do an extensive uh, video again, kind of like an update on this. I actually did an initial how I built and launched it kind of video. I'll link down below in the description on YouTube um, as far as screen share. But I did do some uh, custom kind of uh, JavaScript up here to hide the listing types and then hide the map and the grid view that you saw on some of the other marketplace examples. Uh, so that way this will be a little bit cleaner um, and just super simple on here. So that was another uh, ShareTribe Go example. And then, so we'll go through one of our last examples. So this is actually a Polish site. So we're gonna just use the translator right here. Um, so that way everything translates, so cool. So this one looks like a uh, marketplace for finding sports experiences. Um, this one's kind of unique in a way that this one is built using ShareTribe Go, but as far as the different kind of transaction uh, types or booking types, it's actually, they actually do payoff platform, um, which is uh, not a lot of ShareTribe Flux marketplaces do. So I actually want to spend some time kind of going through this extensively and through some of the kind of flows. And I'll probably do a full kind of breakdown on this because this is a little bit more custom. Let's just click on browse all events really quick so we can kind of see that. 
Um, so yeah, so they actually once again use a different uh, a different domain. So it's go decathlon.pl over here as far as their actually core marketplace. So I'm assuming they're using um, some kind of interesting, uh, I would say, landing page kind of tech stack and then the share drive flex marketplace um, as far as the core marketplace functionality. And you can see they kind of changed the pins over here to be kind of custom and stuff. And even this listing, this kind of card format looks a little bit uh, custom to what they're doing. So we'll just click on one right here just so we can kind of give a little bit more example. Yeah, so it looks like these photos too. So this is definitely a customization to where instead of just having one photo and then view all, um, they kind of added them right here. So there's like three as far as the layout. This kind of share functionality right there, um, that button, and then all these different icons or different customizations. Um, as you can see over here, so this isn't like a booking module. It looks like send application. So that's simply like a contact form, I'm assuming. So it's like a user-to-user -user contact. Um, but once again, I'll, I'll extensively go through this and probably do like full kind of um, a, a full marketplace review on this and some of the other ones in actual individual kind of videos. But I just wanted to uh, take some time to first off um, just kind of mention Share Tribe. There are two different offerings, and then also um, kind of a shameless plug for this marketplace directory that I built. But I picked out some of the more um, I'll say the more notable and then uh, the really good examples of just the different offerings of marketplaces, um, you know, built using ShareTribe Go or ShareTribe Flex. Just want to run through it and just give you an idea of some actual live marketplaces that are built and running and at some sense of scale. So that way you can truly understand, you know, what's possible using ShareTribe Go and what's possible using ShareTribe Flex. Also see some of the more kind of advanced kind of customizations using it. Um, because once again, they only have four they mention on their customer stories. And uh, hopefully it'll just help you, uh, give you some, uh, some good insights into this. So if you have any comments, definitely comment below in the video. I try to check all the comments and do different videos um, based off of what people comment and want to see. Also hit that uh, like and hit that subscribe because I'm going to start doing a lot more videos. And uh, most likely I'll actually do like a full series as far as like share tribe marketplace reviews where I do screen shares and kind of actually run through and do some like test bookings and listings and whatnot and just go through and talk about their marketplace platform from uh, you know my experience and then also a product side. Um, so that way you know you can just get a good sense of some of these marketplaces that are live and how they actually work. So thanks.